roadworks reported on the road ahead. Okay. Anyway, um, we went into the office just to extend a day, and we found out they were a cluster. So when we made our reservation, it's a thousand trails um, campground. It's Williamsburg Resort and camping. And anyway, um, we were only able to reserve one night available and to keep calling back to get more days. So Mary called back and they put us on a waiting list. So they ended up calling us and told us we had through the 14th. So that was two more days to stay. So we went in last night just to extend another day so we could stay through the 15th. Well, they decided to tell us that we were only scheduled for one day and the next day not reserved and reserved the day after that. Why would we reserve a day in between with no site available? Anyway, that was a little crazy. They got us in and we extended another day, but it was a total mess. But they finally figured it out and got us in. So enough about that. We are on our way back to Williamsburg. And um, we are going to have our carriage ride today. And we're going to get our tickets to get into the buildings. So it's going to be a hot one. Yesterday was super hot. Um, so we're going to be sweating it out today. We got in 16,000 steps yesterday. So my goal is to hit more than 16,000 today. Right? <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> well, we got our tickets. They were actually $44.99 instead of $40.99. Just in case you come here, be aware of that. But we're gonna go see the Fives and Drums March first. Again, they're accepting it based on what it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, so that if it's a, if it's half of, an, of a Spanish coin, well, then they'll check the chart for the Spanish coin. Okay. But uh, and you're talking about maybe a dozen coins that they're going to be familiar with through colonial Virginia. Uh, the King of France set the stage for his own overthrow because you can understand his supporting the American rebellion against the British crown because the French and the British had always, or the English had always been enemies. And, uh, but uh, Will Louis basically empties his treasury to support the American war for independence. And then when the Americans are not able to pay the war debt, uh, Louis doesn't have cash to pay for food or commerce in his own kingdom and hence the French Revolution debt. There's my mom a piano. <laughs> I think she'd like that one <laughs> instead of a baby grand.
October 18, 1777. Right after my birthday, except way earlier. Let's see what the governor's palace has to offer. Come for a tour of the palace? Yes. Okay, just follow those, those folks through the doors. Okay. okay. This is the powder room. Powder your wig. <laughs> There's me a wig. And you a wig. There's one for you too. Look at the little glasses. On the
We're right back here. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the back of the governor's palace. Have you all walked around? Have you been up this way? Or? We've been to the governor's palace. I'll right, tell you what, let's turn around. I'll take you a big circle around town down this way. Maybe you'll see some things you haven't seen yet. Road's going to be anywhere from two to three feet deep in mud. <laughs> Depends on the time of the year, how much it rains. Literally, it's going to be mud from that doorway to that doorway. Around 100 feet across. Greenhouse floor. This queen found her carriage. <laughs> Gentlemen's shoemaking shop here. Wanna race? <laughs> <laughs> Just now, right before we got on here. I have it on good authority from a little four-year-old that rode on the carriage the other day. <laughs> Them ladders up there for Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Makes sense. I've been telling you <laughs> long for years that that little thing, she straightened me right out. <laughs> I told her I was going to steal that for a while. She just smiled. <laughs> this one in the center is the gentleman's office. And then down here is the kitchen. The kitchen's mostly separated from the main house for the fear of fire. How about a ghost walk? Are you all up for something like that? would be interesting. Well, this one's supposed to be the most haunted of the houses at Williams. Don't mind driving you by in the daylight, but I, for one, ain't going nowhere near it after the sunset. <laughs> it is original. Portions of it are over 300 years old. This one belonged to a Mr. Randolph, who is the Speaker of the House of Burgesses. They say the most interesting room in the house is the upstairs right bedroom there. Now the big tree we're going to pass underneath, this is a Compton Oak. This tree, they say, is near 200 years old. Quite a monarch of a tree. Okay, 
Well, we're about home now. We're tired, so we're gonna come home, check on the puppies, and have some dinner. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, and um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. We'll see you next time. You been good? You been good?